Hello there, I'm Helen Stadler, your Destiny Helper. Hello there. Thank you for joining me once again. I pray that you had awesome, awesome, awesome holidays. And many of you, it was the worst time of your life. You have written me and told me what a struggle it was and how devastated you are over the holidays. Sometimes it's the point that the narcissists really show themselves because it's the time that you can gather. So many times the narcissists would do a holiday discard. Holiday discard, a temporary discard to bring you to an anxiety point. It is to cause you tremendous trauma, heartache, and pain because what? Christmas is a time that everybody get together. New Year's a time everybody get together and celebrate. Even in the COVID time, we find creative time, creative ways to be happy, to celebrate with each other. And so the holidays is usually a time for temporary discard. Temporary discard is when the narcissist for days and weeks come before you and they, they almost uh, make up things to have arguments about. They make up things to go have disagreement about. There's nothing wrong and out of the blue, it can be a shoe in the, in the floor. It can be a sock that he's looking for. It can be something that she wants to eat. It can be the kid's sock, any little thing. And it start this turmoil, it start this snowball. And what they want is called a holiday discard. And many of you have experienced that when they discard you right before Christmas, they discard you right on the day of Christmas, they discard you New Year's Eve. And right in the middle of celebrating, they get angry and walk out and leave you in a chaotic point because you have no connection of what happened. You don't even know what happened. You don't know what caused them to leave. You don't know what you've done wrong. And they leave. And the discard is they will pack their suitcase and leave something out so you know that they have left. And then they leave and they will call you and say, you know, these holidays, you forgot about me. You was wrapped up in other people. I thought about you. And what it is, is they can't stand the fact that during this period, people will, they will love on you. People will talk to you. People will give you attention. And the narcissists don't want any attention taken away from them. So they do a temporary discard. A temporary discard is when the narcissist leave you during the holiday period. He may leave on Christmas, stay away from New Year's, or he may leave on New Year's, stay away from it for a week. And then they come back to be refused. And when they come back to be refused, by the time you done had so much anxiety, you had so much confusion, you don't know what it is that tipped them off. You don't know what it is that ticked them off. And you are trying to find out what happened. What did I do? You didn't do anything. It was well planned. And many of you that has been with the narcissist for years, many times you get caught off guard because once the narcissists find out that you're onto them, they will love bomb you up to the point of separation. They will love you up to the point of disconnection. They will love you up to the point where they disintegrate the moment. They terrorize the moment. They bring everything to an uh, absolute halt. And then they tell you it's your fault. If you had to show me attention, if you had not have done this, and you would tell them, I didn't do this. I told you to go make a deposit. I told you to call this person. You did all that. You show them the note. It's not enough. And then they keep arguing and arguing and arguing. Well, one week after the discard, they're coming back. They're giving you the ultimate love bomb. And what they was telling, I couldn't stand all those people around you. I wanted you. I wanted you for myself. And you seem to be caught away with all these people. And you are looking and saying, what people? What did I do? I didn't even make a phone call. I made sure that everything you needed was taken care of. Holiday discards are not permanent discards. They are usually, there are times there are permanent discards, but usually a holiday discard is a temporary discard just to cause you to seem like you are being driven insane. They won't text. They won't call. You can't reach them. Do you call the family? The family vouch for them and because usually the narcissist, especially the dominant narcissist that runs the family, the family is... Uh, 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 a flying monkey and it will excuse 
everything they do and then blame you. So the narcissists know their 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 families is vicious. So when you call the family, now you got another level of attack to deal with it. You dealt with the narcissist with his temporary dis discard. Now you're dealing with the family and they are devaluating you to the max. And then they hang up the phone or they keep you on the phone until they tear you down and you are totally without energy to even fight back. And now you are there with the kids, but you don't enjoy your holiday. You don't even look at your gift. Nothing matters. And a lot of times, the narcissist won't even give you a gift. They'll tell you, I, I forgot the gift. Or you didn't deserve the gift. Oh, I thought you told me you didn't want anything. I thought you didn't want anything this year because I got you that. And you like, you didn't give me anything. You bought the narcissist everything. And they didn't even remember. Because the narcissist, especially Christmas, uh, New Year's and you will find like uh, a special and Mother's Day Mother's Day you either get a Hoover or you get a discard Mother's Day may be the time the narcissist pull and will you in or they discard you to make you feel that you are the worst parent in the world. But now holidays, when you celebrate, you got a new year coming in, you're looking for all of these wonderful things in the next year, and you're looking for better things than you had before. The narcissists want to make sure that they capsize that mentality. They capsize your dream. They capsize your hopes. And see, the narcissist knows you, especially those of you who've been with the narcissist a long time many of you went into the mirror and you just stared at yourself and you looked yourself in the mirror and said why am I still here why am I taking this what's wrong with you what's wrong with me why don't I leave why do I keep putting up with this year after year after year when I know what the narcissist is going to do I know what they're going to say the narcissist builds his mentality with you. The primal source, which is the primary source, you have to be traumatized to a trauma. You have to be bonded to that trauma. You have to be cemented to that trauma. And when you are cemented to that trauma, when you uh, want to uh, break up cement, you have to have tools to break up that hard hardness and what they want to do is create hardness because it's hard to break it up the more you get to unforgiveness the more power the narcissists have because you finally and what the narcissists don't want you to do to shut down and because we automatically will go to protect ourselves guess what we do we shut down your temporary discard is for maximum torture it's for maximum confusion. It's to get all of your hormones out of sorts. You cook dinner. You couldn't even eat it. Your stomach was upset. Your mind was confused. You're looking at the phone. You're waiting for the narcissist to call. You texting. They're not responding. And you're looking at them. And some narcissists will even get on Facebook and act like they're really happy. And then they're around all of these people. And then they were particularized one arena where they're with a female, if they're male, and have a female by them. But you can't accuse them of the female because they're not embracing them, but there's something meticulous about their picture together. Or a, um, a female where she's kind of half-sided with the male on the male like she shouldn't be. But you can't really accuse her because she can say, I was just standing before him. I didn't know he was that close behind. And so all of these little things just to trip you off. Tick tock. They want a time bomb. And then when they come in, bam, you waited. You just explode. And the narcissists love every bit of it. They got all of your attention. They got all of your energy and they sit there with that little grin on their face and you're looking at them and like how can you grin at a time like this you left me you didn't call me they intended everything they did the narcissist is precise intentional very focused and very scheduled they were scheduled your trauma, they will schedule 
your confusion. They will schedule your degradation. And then when the narcissist come in after holiday discard, they cause massive confusion in the house because they want you sleepless. They want you thoughtless. You're so confused. You can't put things together. They are hungry. Yes. They want things. They get you upset. And then they demand things. The narcissist want a holiday puppet to ease their pain that they have in the holidays because it's this hole that is inside of them that is not filled. It's this longing that they have to belong, to be a part, but they have to always pretend and they can't stand the genuineness, the authenticity of your happiness, of your joy. Because on the inside is darkness, evasiveness of reality, and nothing satisfies them. Nothing completes them. Because this big black hole gets bigger and bigger. And in the holidays, it goes deeper and deeper. It reminds the narcissist of who they are and they're angry at you for being different and everything they ever wanted you are everything they want to feel you do and everything they want to say and mean you saying it a holiday discard is to set you up for failure you have to make up in your mind I refuse to be unhappy. I refuse to let anything kill my joy. I refuse to let anything kill my true sense of perspective or my authenticity. This year is Merry Christmas to me. And it may be without the narcissist. I wanted to come to you because many of you are writing me and you are saying, I'm tired of going through this. I go through this every year or this is my first time and I never known him or her to act like that. The closer it gets to the holiday, they're just going ballistic. What is going on? A holiday discard. Most of them are not permanent. They're temporary, but they're just as painful and they're just as vicious. And many of you who say, I'm, not, I'm done, they will start a hoover. And they will hoover you back in based on the time or the, the frustration, the level of frustration, the level where you say you're enough, you're packing up going to mom. That determines what level of love bombing you get. Even to the point with the narcissist who told you you was nothing, they don't want to be around you the holidays. Go to tears because the holidays are over and they got to maneuver you for another pathway where they win again. If you have enjoyed this video, like and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Push the bell. And every time I come on, I come on Thursday nights right after our Bible studies. And then I come on late Thursday night live. And every now and then I'm going to start coming on other days live. And you can ask your question. It's a time the family get together. Live is awesome because everybody get together. And you would be amazed at who's at where you are. And they have your answer in their mouth. Join me on live Thursdays. And make sure you push the bell so if I come on live any other time, you will get an alert. And like and share the page. And don't forget to subscribe. Write me, DestinyHepper12S at gmail.com. DestinyHepper12S at gmail.com. I want you to know the power of who you are is always inside of you. And it's not over yet. We don't just thrive. We don't just survive. We thrive. 
we are winners all the way to the end. No matter what it looks like, keep your head up. Happy New Year to you. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you.